it too like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. It's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real underscore O'Barber brand and at Nation of Podcation on Instagram and TikTok. Hip hop icon, legend, juvenile talks about how the Hot Boys was formed, how Lil Wayne couldn't curse when they first started rapping, and how they eliminated all of the other cash money artists except for Wayne and BG once they signed Juvenile. Now, as we all know, Juvenile was one of the leaders of the 99 and the 2000 with the Cash Money Millionaires, with the Hot Boys, with his 400 Degrees album, it put New Orleans on the map. This was also the album that introduced the world to Lil Wayne on the Back That Ass Up single. One of the best songs, one of the best dance songs still to this day. Now, we all know Cash Money signed their legendary Universal deal in 1998 for $30 million with $3 million up front where they got 85% of all royalties and 50% of publishing. And it looks like Birdman and Slim at this time decided to part ways with some of the groups like UNLV, Miss T, and so on and so on. So let's take a look at this clip from Juvenile as he's talking about the Hot Boys, how they were formed, and how Lil Wayne has always been a legend. Let's tune in. And when they signed me, it's kind of funny. When they signed me, they let all the artists on the label go and kept BG and Wayne. So the day I walk in was the day a lot of the artists that they had that they was having a success with, they let them go. And, and they was telling us, this, this is the new cash money. This is the new wave. We about to do something big. And I'm looking around like, what happened to everybody? <laughs> like, just us? <laughs> You're like, yeah, y'all. Y'all I'm looking at them like... You mean me, BG, and and Shorty right here? Like, yeah, y'all, we are the... Man. All right, so right there, Juvenile talks about how Birdman and Slim, they got rid of all the other artists just to make room for the Hot Boys and the Big Timers. That was all they were going to have on the label, and that's what they were going to focus on. They was going to make solo artists out of BG, Juvenile, Lil Wayne, and also have them part of the group. Now, I know for Juvenile, that had to be crazy because UNLV was one of the greatest groups in New Orleans history. They, they helped put cash money on the map with the Uptown for Life album, with the Mac Mouth Calio, with the Sixth and Barone. They had cash money on the map as a regional record label and to part ways with UNLV that was news back in the late 90s let's tune back into Juvenile as he continues hey they knew what they was talking about he was a monster Wayne was a monster from day one day one been a monster like I, I was telling a lot of stars then like man I wish y'all could hear what we actually hear in the studio before we take the curse words out and make him change stuff like, you know, we was literally in there like, man, because his mama made it clear. He can't be doing this kind of music because if he, if he is, you know, we gonna, we gonna, um, he not going to be able to be with y'all. I'm not going to let it allow him to go on the road with y'all, do songs with y'all. So it was definitely clear that he, he was not the curse. All right, so I remember those days. I remember being a big fan of Lil Wayne back in the day. And when we were coming up as kids, Lil Wayne could not curse at all. He was always saying mother fluffer or just changing it around or, you know, just saying little things to subliminally know that he wanted to curse, but he couldn't curse. So shout out to Wayne. I've been a big Lil Wayne fan for his entire career. That's how far back I go, y'all. I was a fan of Lil Wayne before he could even curse. Crazy to think about. Let's tune back in. So Wayne, Wayne's to come in there with songs. We like, man, you know, you can't sing that. You can't sing that. But it's it is it is great. It's a hit. But you can't sing that right now. Just it, it, it's just too early for that for you. So, but I think I think everybody can see the talent in him from day one. Oh, that his name. Well, his name. Yeah, that's Derek. That was actually their nephew. All right, so right here, Juvenile's talking about the lost member of the Hot Boys that nobody ever really talks about. His name was Derek, a.k.a. Bulletproof. Unfortunately, he passed away a while ago due to some gun violence. So RIP to Bulletproof, a.k.a. Lil Derek. Let's tune back into Juvenile. Boy, uh, yeah, that's his name. was Bulletproof on there. I forgot. That was Derek. See, I've been trying to think of what Lil Derek name was. 
Bulletproof's rap name was. It was Bulletproof. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. All right, so there you have it, Nation. You got Juvenile talking about the origins of the Cash Money Hot Boys. Like I said, as we all know, the Hot Boys, as constructed up to date, you got Juvenile, Lil Wayne, BG, and uh, Turk in the Hot Boys group. So we're really looking forward to this reunion that's supposed to be happening sometime in July at the Essence Fest. It should be the first time that all of them get on stage for the first time in 25 years. I remember being in high school, going to the Cash Money Millionaires Tour, the Cash Money Rough Riders Tour, one of the best tours of all time. And as a kid, I didn't really understand what I was getting at that time. I mean, there was DMX, there was Jadakiss, there was Styles P, uh, Chic Lutz from The Locks, you had Eve, you had uh, Drag On, then you had Lil Wayne, Juvenile, Turk, BG, Baby, Manny Fresh. That was one of the dopest concerts I ever been to. And also the opening act was 50 Cent and G Unit before Wangsta, before all of that. So that was one of the best concerts I had ever been to. One of the most memorable concerts. And looking back on that some 25 years ago, it was a real honor to go to that concert. Obviously Birdman and Slim had their plan together to make cash money the super powerhouse that it is today. The Hot Boys were an integral part of that. So shout out to the Hot Boys. Like I said, I'm looking forward to the 2024 Hot Boys reunion the album, the tour, the everything. I'm looking forward to it. Nation, what do you think about Juvenile's comments on Lil Wayne and the formation of the Hot Boys? Are you looking forward to a Hot Boys reunion in 2024? Nation, let me know in the comments section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. O'Shea and I have been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.